Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this second half of my summer projects, I wanted to share with you the uh, redecoration of my sewing slash sitting room. And as you can see, there are many beautiful pieces that um, have decorated the room. And um, one of the first things I wanted to talk about was uh, the painting that I did um, for the walls. The color is a deep golden straw and it took um, two coats and it turned out quite beautiful and I'm very pleased um, at the results. Um, some of the things that I decorated the room with uh, include um, pieces that I acquired from my grandmother and first would be the shears that are in a lemony yellow and the shears are on both windows. I have two windows here and they have matching drapes which will be coming soon and so I'm looking forward to that and in this corner here are two uh, pictures that my grandmother um, has uh, she had for a number of years and uh, I recently acquired from her and so I just thought they would be a beautiful touch to the decor and as you can see it uh, the pictures features uh, leaves bird cages a bird cage baskets um, flowers and those sorts of things and one note here um, for the window treatments I added corbels which appear on both windows and the corbels have uh, grapes and swords and leaves on them and there is an opening on each of the corbels where a drapery pole will go and the drapery poles will have uh, rings that will be attached that will attach to the drapes. So I'm looking forward to that. And this is one of my favorite pieces I've had for a number of years. It is a uh, 1950s uh, Sears mannequin. And it's an adjustable mannequin. And I've used this for a lot in my dressmaking. And um, I can adjust it and it's never failed me. And it's one of the uh, one of my favorite pieces that I uh, collected some number of years ago. Um, here are my two plants getting plenty of sunshine, and over here are some of my sewing accoutrements, and um, has my serger threads in uh, rubber make containers and in the box below, and some of my other sewing accoutrements. On this wall here will be where the um, ironing board cabinet will go as soon as this uh, restoration is complete and then I will have a cabinet here where all my sewing accoutrements and sewing books will go and in this spot will be where my serger rack will go and the thread rack which are also coming soon and here I have my brother sewing machine my singer sewing machine and my serger and as you can see they're all vintage pieces and here on my brother's sewing machine, I have uh, my Taylor's clapper that I use uh, when I'm ironing my pieces. And uh, Kate Spade is one of my favorite designers, so I have a Kate Spade cup there. It's upside down. And I have my um, tomato cushion for my pins and a vintage uh, copy of Better Homes and Gardens sewing book and my shears. And some of the many pieces that I used in my sewing. And over on this side of the room is a piece that I uh, purchased from Walmart on the clearance rack for five dollars and it does something quite special. It lights up and over here are some of my vintage sewing patterns and in future videos I will be talking extensively about my collection and my collection goes from the late 1900s to current, the 2000s. So I will be talking extensively about that. Um, here is my vanity, and I've had this vanity for a number of years. And as you can see, it's quite a beautiful piece. And it's got beautiful flowers and leaves and a ribbon crown here on the top. And it has crazing on the mirror. more crazing on this part of the mirror 
and that just adds to the character and integrity of the piece. And of course you can see the two oval mirrors and it has one long mirror in the middle. And there's a lot of my makeup that's just prepared to be put away. I have my perfume tray where all my favorite perfumes sit. And these are antique lipstick holders. And as you can see, I have many of my lipsticks and other items here in the holders. And over on this side is uh, my napkin holder. It's an antique napkin holder, or excuse me, um, it would be more of a tissue holder, excuse me. And then I have a hairspray holder here and a little electronic candle and a ring holder and a antique box with uh, dried rose petals. And on the wall here, I have a piece of art that was uh, given to me some years ago by someone special and has my name um, emblazed throughout the piece and with hearts and some other really fun things. And this vanity, by the way, is emblazed on the back with the year 1896 on it. So in the future, um, I may show that to you. If you can see that. And as you can see, it has um, a top drawer and a cabinet on the bottom. You can see the legs on it, and it's just quite beautiful. There's my antique trash can. Even, even my trash cans are antique. And last but not least is my Edwinian Victorian chair that I purchased from an antique dealer, dealer some years ago. And it has like a um, golden velvet fabric on it with braiding on it. I'll get a little closer. And it has beautiful flowers and leaves across the top. And it just, um, I thought would be just lovely with the vanity. And it just has a beautiful pillow there. And one last thing is uh, my Chase Lounge. And my Chase Lounge, I just got this um, a few, probably about a month ago. And I purchased this from a lady. Who was moving and uh, this is a benchmark piece and I got it for a very very good price so um, in the future I will be doing a video because I will be just doing uh, some slip covers for it so I've already taken um, done the measurements and um, done the prototype in muslin so I will be doing um, showing you how I did that and sharing that as well so I just wanted to come back and share with you my um, sewing slash sitting room and what I've done to it. Um, the only regret I have is I did not get before pictures. So um, I'm thinking I have one or two pictures someplace around. So I will look around to see if I can put my hands on those. And if I have them, I will do a side by side so you can see the before and the after. So this is my sewing slash sitting room. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.